Hello and welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about uh, some of the post-processing that one might do for a wedding. I think it's important to know several features about uh, your graphics application. In this case it's going to be Photoshop. But today we're going to work on levels and, and really just anything uh, that you can get from this would be great. But the one thing that I want you to understand is this histogram. What this represents and how you can make use of this to visually affect your photographs. Style is very important to a wedding photographer and you need to come up with your style and some of that may be just dealing simply with the histogram. On the right hand side is all the white pixels and on the left hand side here is the black pixels and everything in between is just a representation of how many pixels there are in in that area uh, of, of the scale, lumen scale. So what we're going to do here is we're going to just make this picture pop. And how do we make this picture pop? Well, it's it's getting the right number of pixels in the right place. That's essentially what it is. So we're going to use actually the um, levels. And when we use the levels, we're going to s make a decision that to make this pop, we want more contrast. And that might be simply by grabbing this uh, lower part, which is the blacks, raising this up. And as we do that, that is going to increase the number of pixels that are in the dark section. And you can see it's darkened up. Now, you may not uh, like that idea, but the reality is that this part back here, I'm not trying to draw attention to that part in the back. I'm trying to draw attention to the couple. Next is we're going to start up with the white pixels and see if we can bring a little pizzazz back to the light. There we go. So I kind of like that. That looks good. Now the question is, with our mid-range, what do we want to do with our mid-range? Now some people, they like the grungier look maybe. And some photographers, they might like the brighter look. Whatever it is that you like, that's what you do. You know, it is your style. Me, I kind of like to bring the pop in, and I think that uh, uh, right about there gives me a good, good balance on all the colors. Now I'm going to do more to this, but what I want you to see is the difference between the original picture which looks a little bit flat, but still a very good picture, and a little bit of pop. A big difference. And when you put this inside of an album, I'm telling you, it's going to be different, very different. And I just think that you just want to want color and pop. Now some may just decide that they just really want to get their style crazy. Whatever it is, that's what your style needs to be. So it's very important to understand. On the left is the dark pixels. On the right is the white pixels. You want to get more brightness, more in the white, you bring this dial here down. So whenever we squeeze this together, we are increasing the contrast. So I kind of like it about there. I might make this a little bit, little bit more darker, but at the point that I'm trying to illustrate here, I think it shows the difference. If I turn off the preview, you can see the picture's kind of flat. Very good picture, but it just has more to it when you when you just really make, get that contrast. Future, we'll talk about more more steps that we do next, but that's just just today levels and getting used to what levels are and what they can do for you. Okay, I hope this helps you, and uh, next we'll work on some more of these other things. 